our first match of the day and the second last game of the round of eight in the HW Masters. Two Koreans, the winner stays alive, the winner still has a chance to go for, uh, to this offline event this weekend in Shanghai. I checked the times, by the way, Remo's gonna be 6 a.m. for us. But I whatever, saw. we are kind of getting used to that by now. Here they are, um, both around the same age. They were living uh, together for quite some time in the A1 team house. I don't actually know if that's still the case or not. But yeah, Lord Ayat, from what he's shown us, he should be the favorite. Uh, made it into the top four of the W League, where Sock was eliminated in the top eight, but he was facing 1 2 0, so absolutely no shame about that. Game starts. We are on Turtle Rock, and there was a bet going on with Mr. Law Lyot, Remo. How did it end, and what was it about? Law Lyot entered the lobby in true human fashion, starting to whine right away, saying, oh my god, I can't win this map, it's going to be 0-1 right away, because human Imba, first of all, and secondly, it's going to be close position spawn. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to take that bet. I'm going to say it's no close positions. Odds, of course, favoring me because I'm a wise scholar. You know, uh, <laughs> you all know that that's the case. And uh, so the bet was the loser will have to chug a beer when we go to China. And I am the winner and the light's the loser. And he's going to have to chug a beer, which is going to be hilarious enough in and of itself. And of course, we're going to film that and upload it to everyone's amusement. And low lights, embarrassment. Exactly. That's why you have to follow us. Instagram.com slash back to Warcraft. That's where uh, the content will end up. So what do we have? Not close position, but same lane. And as I open every single cast on this map with those positions, that, ladies and gentlemen, makes this shop very important. You all know shop control on Echo Owls. Well, there is the case uh, here as well, because that drops a Rune of the Watcher. And if you get that Rune of the Watcher, you basically have vision over this part of the map for the entirety of the game. Didn't even know that it was called Rune of the Watcher. Just always click on it and then it's gone and it becomes a Watcher Ward. Shows you how slow Neo's APM is. He has time to look at that stuff, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of observed a few, a few games on this very map. But who leaves the oh, Watch Award on the ground? Anyways, um, yeah, Watch Award super strong. Kind of insane how most people agree that Sentry Wards are already busted. About to get nerfed, by the way, on the PTR. And Watch Awards are there for all eternity. They're the only thing immortal in the world of Warcraft 3. Trees can die. But okay, I guess uh, neutral buildings can't die, but everything can die pretty much, but not the watch reward. And they give you vision and detection for all eternity. Absolutely insane. This is why one of the reasons why we don't see Shutter Rock in many map pools anymore nowadays. But here in this tournament, we do. Used to be somewhat tough of a night off map, but that was the Demon Hunter days. Nowadays with the Keeper, that doesn't have to be the case. Of course, one of the maps where expansions are super hard. This is what human, what makes humans so strong. But Sock can also play a very, very solid one base play. So that seems to be the case here. As he's tacking Lolite with the Keeper of the Grove and a nice inventory for more DPS. Uh, it's harassing already, but everything looks kind of healthy. Of I guess with one attack. Entangle, there could be one kill on a passant. There is no tower in the base though, and that opens up for a tree and harass. Yeah, I'm really surprised he's not spawning them here. I am threatening the archers a little across the map, I guess, but does Lord Light really need to be so afraid? Now he even sees how far the footies are away from his own main. I'm greatly, greatly surprised he's not just popping treants into the main. Pretty passive, indeed. These guys have been playing uh, quite a few oh, human please. mirrors together Sorry. at the last WGL, and Oh, Actually, yeah. Law Lyot was winning most of them, which is especially surprising since Sock eliminated TH in a human mirror. But maybe uh, that was just a big surprise um, of TH by Sock's playstyle, the super aggressive early game. It was a bit of a different time as well. I guess Sock has been improving since then. And Law Lyot, you know, he's like... Uh, when you look at him as a player, sometimes you feel like the world is unfair. Because he doesn't really practice much, he fools around, he has fun, and he's still so super talented and strong. Well, um, I tend 
to disagree a little. Um, before the WCG decision game between him and Lucifer, he practiced like 40 games a day with 1-2-0. So he does practice. He might say that he's not, but... Yeah, I mean, every player has to practice, of course. Uh, but I don't think he's, you know, as tryhard. He still gets in some fun and gets in some gets in some uh, his nonsense. That's true. I actually talked to him uh, when you weren't there uh, in chat a couple of days ago. He told me that he quit playing StarCraft 2 and quit playing uh, PUBG. PUBG. Nowadays, though, he plays a little bit of uh, League of Legends and also Auto Chess. So uh, still, you know, enjoying his time, I guess. Well, I guess uh, it's good to not focus to Walker 100% to get a little bit of uh, outside influence also on your game. And just not be focused on one thing. Just have a little bit of fun. Um, everyone needs that if you're professional or not. What are you talking about, Neil? We're Germans. We don't have players' <laughs> forces are under attack. <laughs> don't know what this fun is that you're referring to. <laughs> Entangle acid bomb on the AM. Dropping... Uh... Decently low. Another combo with a couple of archer shots would be the TP force, but... Oh, look at those boots, man. He's so fast. Oh, boy. Is he ever so speedy or what? Ancient of War moved into the middle. So, uh, yeah, obviously this is a one base play. No expansion here. We're going to have rifle casters coming in for Sock with the MK. Second, five archers into what is the question for our line? Rushing tier three with one lore. Looks like archers into MGs. Like Foggy at WGL. I agree, and that's a good uh, choice, I guess. Best tank in the game, and the best DPS per gold in the game as well. Of course, you need a couple of upgrades for them to work. But you do have the time um, as the Night Elf. I think the Archmage is far away from level 3, actually. Mountain King just spawned, and now the dance for the merchant begins. With Militia especially, I think Socrates have a good chance at taking this. He's not calling any, which is greatly surprising to me. But with the Stormbolt still, there's decent kill opportunity here onto these archers once down already. And ideally, you would like to uh, save those until the very late game when they get marksmanship and there are those enemies in front to block. One or two Dryads will always have great utility for the Abolish, for the slowdown in the mid game. But you really don't want to go late with them most of the time because rifles have a tendency of shredding through them. And I assume we're gonna have an MG transition here. Come in very shortly. Plus, plus nine. Boot swapped over to the Mountain King. He uh, returns the favor by handing over the claws very soon, I guess. We have a Scroll of the Beast, which is great for these archers. No. Ah, there's the second engine of lore. Waiting for uh, the Moonwell to finish. And the first MG's Bears. Oh, wow. That's okay. a big surprise. A player's forces are under We've attack. been seeing them more and more, I guess, uh, recently. But yeah, I'm surprised as well. I always feel like if you go super late game in this matchup, like Rifles have 2 0 upgrades, it's a big ass human army. MK level 3 or even level 4 in the front, clap, like slowing down everything. Always seems to me like bears just die right away. Whereas yeah. MGs, they're always gonna be tanky. Interesting. Yeah, I, okay. I said this a couple of times bears are just faster. So you have a better or an earlier timing window with bears than you have with MGs. Of course, they do more damage than MGs. Uh, but yeah, for the late game, it absolutely is. the Like, human has the better army if they go to tier 3, which is not the case, though. We do have an unholy aura, which makes it uh, easier to kite and chase. We don't have blizzard yet. We don't have clap either. It's a tier what? 2 expansion. He's going bash? Yep. I don't know about that one at all. Like, regardless of whether it's bears or MGs, Clap is just amazing. And anything that's not bears or MGs, you're gonna destroy with rifles, so... Okay. Old school MK skill build, I guess. TP home now from low light as the human force here is barreling down, trying to distract from the expansion coming up across the map. Stormbolt onto the Alchemist, dropping very low, but there is going to be the staff. And there's no master training just yet. Have to wait a few more seconds. Now it's finished. And we're morphing those two bears instantly. But it's only two so far. Yeah. Before the big patch, we said we can kind of need four bears to win this fight. And he's far away. Just gunned down. Staff was on cooldown, not using the Scroll of the Beast at all. 
And Law Lion's forces are dwindling. Going for a hero focus now. This Archmage does have a TP. The Mountain King mm, does not. He is a little scared, I guess. And on Sock's way out, Law Lion is getting some kills. Thanks to Entangle and, of course, Orb of Venom. Side of super scary there for Law Lion. Just getting pummeled by those mass rifles. But in the end, fights back. The human invasion. Now the expansion is done. Oh, Sock needs some sorts of healing, right I think. Back. Yep, I agree. He's just waiting for the gold. Gives us some time to thank BY10261 for the sub and Knopf gifting us up to Starshape. Thank you, guys. Hope you enjoy it. TP out now. So they're actually trading it in the end. And once again, a couple of kills. So that exposes the expansion. And well, with two bears, not sure if he has that damage. With Treants, he should. And the big issue here is all the militia on Lumber earlier were used for the Town Hall, so you can't even call any militia to this fight. And now the roar on everything, that's so much more damage. One archer may be getting sniped out, but of course the bears here are the issue. Watch Elemental is going to be ready again soon, that's going to help, but for now the mining is almost disrupted. Oh, can you get a four units around here on the Alchemist? With the militia, with the bashes, another bash! <laughs> but there's going to be the staff, of course. Okay. So, no TP left, just an Invo Potion on Sock's side. No tier 3 either, go Sorceress now, as he Players doesn't have Clap, you need some crowd control, and the Sorceress provide that on the initiate level. Mountain King finds himself in the surround, though, but still has the Invo, so we'll get out. Lolite constantly bringing Wisp to these fights, that's so important. Then we have Tom of Training now, nope, still Water Mentals. And the Wisps, absolutely amazing detonates. It looks like Lolliot is taking the lead in this game. Going for the Archmage now, and he might be taking down here only to the dot damage of the poison. Oh my god, what's he doing there? Aeon, you have to run! Seems to be okay though. Alchemist is still invulnerable. Could be nuked down soon, but the Mountain King is out of, or was out of range for the Brilliance Aura, so not too much mana on him. And Lolliot is uh, basically saving everything here. Close to level 4. And is running away with this game. This bear decision was the right call, as it seems. How this game, like, turned so quickly. That push into the main when there was only two bears was so strong, getting so many kills right away, and suddenly everything just fell apart. Kind of the typical human phenomenon. Like, if you don't have enough units of every unit that you need, exactly the right amount, suddenly everything crumbles. And now it's still only 50 supply here against four bears, five bears with level 4 Keeper, almost level 4 Alchemist. There's still the expansion for Sock, but he's far from in the clear. Yeah, it's... He's kind of getting there, breaking upkeep now. <clears throat> Loliath is not, and thinks uh, I think he's not planning on it, since there's no Moonwall coming in the base. Tree and Taras, nice, still no tower, and another fight. And the Archmage is completely out of mana. The Mountain King... Trying to get a hero kill in to force the town fall, but I guess he needs some bashes. Not getting them. Mana it's... pot. Stormbolt. That's going to be the TP. Okay. With all... No, wait. He's leaving the forces behind to continue creeping with the alchemist. Just reached level 4. And we have another 10 euro donation once again by Mr. Ref G. Kraken. Uh, 10 bucks enough for today. Thank you so much for the double contribution in uh, bits and monies. Lolai now with a supply deficit slightly, and this is an awkward position. You will have to fight around the town hall. So, this is basically the perfect spot for Sock if you can plug those two holes to the top and bottom of the town hall. But now, hole being opened up with the Treants. Alchemist uh, dropping low, but the Stormbolt into the staff will save once again the second hero. One bear, One bear is trapped. Yeah, it's gonna get that kill. Okay. Close to four now. Yet. On both heroes. And the expo is still standing and mining. Constantly checking the base and waiting for the tier three, but it's not coming. Loliath not transitioning to mountain giants either. There was no TP on the keeper when I checked last. It's only a potion of healing and a potion of... Uh, oh, there's the moonwall now. I like that position, actually. Um, the anti-magic to dodge storm bolts. Is that gonna pan out? I don't know. Thank you, Radani, for the prime sub. 
Thank you very much. Sock gave up his perfect position though behind the town hall. He moved out further to creep and now when he re-engages into this fight once again because of course the light has to keep pushing. He's gonna be in a much worse spot. He's gonna be in the middle of open battleground which is exactly what those bears want. Level 4 MK. Level 4 AM. Big level ups here for the human side and once again with Militia coming in from the main. Sock wants to try to hold its expansion, but I think it's just falling. Roar. Too much damage from these siege bears. Exactly. Takes out too many peasants before. Got more damage from the bears, and the expo is down. Of course, with losses, but he's also supply stuck at 60 now, which is not what you want at all. Taking more and more bears out, so the light is dropping to 38. But I guess it's fine, since he got rid of that expansion, and he was banking on 800 gold, but that's starting to get costly more experience so this was three bears and a dryad that's certainly expensive the rest will be saved towards the main big supply lead now though for sock what's the consumable saying he has a scroll of oh misclick on the staff that normally never happens to a light that was not the right bear to use that item on and now the human force barreling forward what i was saying earlier for the human force we have to have the right numbers for it to be good these are the right numbers this is a lot of casters a lot of rifles where are the wisps? He needs those wisps. Yes, the first one, second one, third one. No snipes by uh, Sock. Just clicking on heroes and units, but there's heal spray. No, oh, Bash! Interrupting the heal spray. Little lucky by Sock. He's almost out of mana, but close to a storm ball. But the next wisp detonate is in. Scroll of healing on Sock's side. 57 supply. The dryads are melting. Heal spray is only hitting one bear, and that's the last Three remaining bear. Are under yeah. The losses in the end turn out to be too great. The expo may have been successfully taken out, but if you have no force left standing after, you're just going to lose your fight even in your main base if it's brought to you. Sock now backing up a little bit. AM wants to get another scroll of healing from the shop. Easily has the money for it. Mana slightly low, but with more healing and perhaps an invul, he can certainly re-engage. Heroes getting close to five, all of them actually. Archmage is missing in that fight, but the damage is just enough. We do have heal scrolls and a scroll of protection. Archmage is back and he brings the victory as Lawlight is tapping out. And Sock, it didn't look like it, but he takes the lead. Yeah, that was uh, really, really close in that game. Like, so, yeah, so very close to swinging totally Lawlight's way, but uh, Sock holding on and holding on. And in the end, the expansion gave him the resources for the big army. Well done. Even without clap, he could defeat the bears. Yeah, just uh, stun was enough. No need to slow. Well, that was slow, but no need to clap slow. One overextension, right? Apart from that, the game for Lawlight was pretty damn good. But losing too many bears in the process killed him. Yeah, I think he had to go for it, though, kind of. Yeah. Like, he saw that Lolai was already at 60. Like, you Soft, have you to mean? break that expo at one point, I guess. Or, you know, win a fight. But when the human army is already at 60 and you're only at 50, it's tough to do. Um, was a hard call to make, definitely. But, yeah, as I said... I think getting, I think getting uh, the TP is. forced on the keeper, that's what won him the game. If he's not forced back into yeah. the main, he can continue fighting yeah. there in a really bad position for Sok when he doesn't have the numbers yet. And then he could have perhaps won this game. Kind of agree. So you are on a timer with bears. You saw it. They had not enough sustain in the end. With mountain giants, maybe it's a different game. Maybe that was the wrong call. We never know. Yes, I'm going to be at Rocket Beans TV later. I have no idea what our plan is for the day, actually. Maybe I have to play. I kind of want to play random again. That was fun last time. Which race do you... How, how's the uh, ranking for you playing races with enjoyment? Enjoyment? Yeah. Yes. Undead is far, 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 far ahead mm -hmm. of all the others. I do play mass casters when I play Orc, so that's a lot of fun. If I play normal, though, I don't enjoy it too much. Night Elf is... Well, it's kind of easy, of course, and I win... A lot so that i enjoy that but it's kind of lame i hate human i'm yeah. just too bad for human i it's, it's exactly the same for me <laughs> exactly the same order <laughs> well you don't play mass casters though but with yeah, orc but still. a human is, is is really tough man 
and it's and it's so annoying as well like there's no cool moments there's no <laughs> ensnare hex kill or coil nova or whatever well it's banish like, bold is trying not to die trying not to die trying not to die okay finally i have my army banish bold is pretty good though that is but when i play human i don't play that but dude the last time i played human i said like ages yeah. ago yeah 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 Sock continues to play very, very well against the Night Elves, bringing Moon to uh, the edge of defeat in the group stages here. And now, one map away from the lower bracket final against Life, where he could become one of the four players going to Shanghai for this event. Lots of money's on the line, and map number two, Lolliot facing elimination on Last Refuge. And what is this? That's an Ancient of War aggressively at the Merchant. Lifestyle. Is that still a Keeper then? Yeah, I think so. The nice thing with this is it's a level 2 jump start for any hero, obviously. And you can do it with a Demon, you can do it with a Keeper, you can even do it with a Warden if you're really crazy. I'd love to see a Warden, honestly. Yeah, maybe that is the reason to get that fast level 2, but then where to get to 3? Well, I used to play double Ancient of War yeah. Warden on this map. Yeah, but we don't see that anymore. Yeah. Slows down the tech by a lot, of course. Keeper it is. It is the Keeper. With him, of course, it's the easiest to creep. And the most reliable. Will still be good on level 2, even on level 1. Doesn't require level 3 as the Warden does. But if this is footy scouted, like, if a footy comes up here to scout, yep. sees this, and the AM just summons a water elemental at the green, and yep. then goes right over there, isn't that yep. disaster? I do think that's a disaster, and I don't really like that build against human, because they always scout, they always harass. There's three, yeah, two wisps, though. Is he actually not scouting? This footy movement is really important. Where is he looking? He's not scouting. Ah, because, of course, because nowadays they all do the merc cam. They do yeah. the footy merc cam pull, so the footy is not going to be scouting. Oh, that's a 250 IQ greedy creep from the line. <laughs> yeah, punishes the merc cam creep with that. So if that's a big mana, absolutely worth it, of course. He sees that everything is as expected. Sock is using his time to creep the merc camp and get the mercs instead of uh, harassing immediately. This costs a lot of repair. There are quite a few end snares. Oh, this ancient! Gets it, and a big healing. Thank you, Friedel, for gifting five subs. Much appreciated. Thank you very much. Really surprised to not see the Whisk here detonating against the Water Elemental. That's a bit more experience for the Keeper, and that makes creeping this camp much more difficult for the human. But uh, wasn't snared there actually from the creeps a little, perhaps for that reason, not doing it. Keeper buys the circle here early on as well for a bit more stats, for a bit better trading potential. But now there's the Shadow Priest for the human. So how much can the Keeper really do? Yeah, also there's the Rune Bracers. Like, against his Archmage, he can't do anything. It's not Berserker time. He killed this one, so the farm will be a little later, but there's a backup worker finishing this, and Sock seems not threatened at all by Loliot's first hero. Oh, stealing the item here with the Keeper. Only the gauntlets, but a cheeky little move. Getting into his head slightly as well, I guess. Loliot would love to snipe the Shadow Priest, but too well protected with the footies here. Archers across the map, busy creeping with some of the treants there still. Getting more experience for the Keeper, getting closer to level 3. But then again, he's not really close yet, is he? Nope, not at all. Two and a half. And uh, this spells against the Trian, so this harass is not doing too much either. Still no tech though. And I start to think this is an expansion. And with that Trian, this is all a little delayed. Yep, Militia called. Let's go right. On the other side, tier 2 tech, 40%. Engine of Wonders. No Hunter's Hall yet. Keeper's still hanging around here. With half HP and only one spell to use. Don't know if that... Shouldn't you have walked back, rather? Get perhaps a Telestaff and then go in again with mana? 
Doing kind of weird. All right, keep her ignoring the expansion attempt here for now. Now going back. This looks very indecisive from yeah. the light and not very effective either. <laughs> so hard to get anything done now against three mercs and level three and mana. I don't think he can do anything here. The Obliers ops are coming in now. It's five of them or something. Hunter's Hall is coming a little late, but there's going to be a second coming with an alchemist. Shouldn't he have set up a Tree of Life a long time ago? Why is there no expansion? Is Low Light, like, it feels like he's all in already. Yeah, I guess he's playing bears again. All in bears, tier one, uh, tier, th tier three base, uh, one base. Uh, that's so far away, though. Didn't even drop the items on the ground for the moon wells. Um, Low Light's playing, well, don't want to call it sloppy necessarily, but it doesn't look perfect. Dude, why is Sock across the map? <laughs> what? To cancel the lures. But give up, give up this expansion. I think he was expecting an expansion of the Night Elf in the top, trying to cancel that, but that was not the case. Could have just been scouting for that with one footy, perhaps. He just lost his expansion. And, and there's, there's no, no tech. Yeah, there's plan B tech now coming in for Sock. That was just super weird. Yeah, no, no scouting, hell? therefore just hoping for the expansion. That would have been kind of the right thing to do, I guess, but no, not even that. Like, the tech was there, he knew that the tech was there. Sucktus just threw away his lead. It's gone. That was uh, very Not strange. too much to do with Putman now. Huh. With all those mercs and footies, he could have easily defended the expansion, but, well, you have to be around it, of course. That was so strange. I think Sock's kicking himself right now. He's like, why did I do that? That was so dumb. I know that feeling very well from ladder. Another set of treants. Archmage uh, could have been surrounded there. It was really dangerous for him, but he gets the water elemental. More experience. He is level two now. No second expansion, just attack, as you said. And Lores plus tier three. The light in a very good spot right now. Yeah, absolutely. And no second hero for such a long time. No any any not any kind of tier two tech for Sock means that the lights can have absolute map control for such a long time. You can st steal those merchants so easily now, or that one merchant that is left trying to get the big consumable here. Let's go the beast. Sell it. And with the first Dryads coming in, which should be coming. Law Lion forgetting out the production a little. There we go. He's going to have Slow in a second as well. He's going to have Dispel soon after. But I guess the Human Force is still, you know, players forces are under somewhat threatening. So Law Lion can't just soak up the entire map too easily, I guess. He also has a lot of gold. And he too is finishing. So Counter Alchemist instead of Mountain King? I would be... Greatly surprised to not see an MK. But he's hugging that tavern. Or is it a pit lord? No. Heal spray right. first as well. Yeah, I will over. Uh, what's the word? Uh, overestimating the light strength here in the mid game. Actually, Sock can still do quite a bit. With his mercs here still, with the water elementals, as there's still no abolish. A Finishing now. Attack. And the alchemist choice makes it even harder to take out this army of the humans. Does he have defend? I'm not so sure. Mm -hmm. But rifle transition is coming in now. Finally, the sanctum is going to be up. And Sock is recovering here from his uh, yeah, blunder earlier on. Yeah, he's getting some time for the rifles, which are absolutely necessary. Having that one Shadow Priest still alive is also so important. Otherwise, this Keeper could just move from target to target with Entangle, dive for the kills. I uh, jump from well. target to target to target. What's yeah. that? The Materia song. But it's in German, so I just translated it on the fly. I was like, yeah, that's new rap German? <laughs> what the hell? Think from level to level to level. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Beat, low skate! 
but also, I don't know. Ah, German rap, I'm a big fan. They are all so <laughs> talented. They totally deserve the success. Oh, it's not like they're uh, winning, uh, they're making money because of image or whatever. The light walking into the creep camp, that's a whoopsie. It's gonna cost him an archer. But that's fine, I guess. Keeper going into the main, walking into the arcane tower, lol. Now he doesn't have mana for treants for a little bit. Long rifle's coming. He's kind of ready for this uh, tree and terrace. Treants are expiring, as he said. Low mana, but he does have another set now. And this time, it's not the bears. We go full tank mode. Oh, mana stone. Nice. With the mountain giants. So that buys Sock even more time, but kind of forces him to go tier 3 as well. Does he have... Uh, what's it called? Harden skin? Not sure, don't think so. Nice staff from the keeper getting the orb before the shop is gone. Very good item. Starship, could you do an orb tier list, please? <laughs> I'd love to see one. <laughs> but wait for the patch, please. Oh yeah, it's a shimmer orb. That's gonna be kind of crazy. Healing reduction, first time ever in Warcraft 3. If it makes it to live, of course. Here's the second MG. Really hard to take out. It's always so difficult to judge, I feel like. Do they have hardened skin? Do they not have hardened skin? But they should. The well, light easily has the lumber and there's no upgrade. So I yeah. guess he has them. I think it's about time. Like, but he's not investing anything right now. So he should well, have this, but yeah, I'm not too sure either. Juicy TP out now. No more kills to be found. But Sokka's stuck on one base, tier 2, against MGs. That's usually not too good for the human. So no tier 3, low lumber, upgrades coming because of that he has low lumber. Like a depth upgrade, attack upgrade, long rifles is done for quite some time. More levels, arm here, boots as well, not the greatest items for Sok. And again, Lolite with a better creeping, going for the red spot. Easy to camp now. Claws of attack plus 12. Never bad. And I think it would be cool if the claws looked different from level to level. You know what I mean? From level to level to level. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like... Uh, like if they had like, I don't know, flames or something. Like the good old flame shirts that you used to wear. You remember those days, Neo? Oh, or you get more fingers on the claw. Would also be nice. So here we go. Acid bomb on both sides. Sock seems to have the damage for now, but only threatening the heroes. This does look like hardened skin, yes. Yeah, there was a nice militia flank there, making it hard for the light to find the right position. But one MG just stranded in the middle of nowhere. But nothing really died, aside from peasants, I think. And more MGs. More Dryads are coming! Oh, I don't like that. Does he think he has enough blocking power with the two MGs? I don't so. think so. Well, sure in, in chokes, maybe. Oh, this one caught up. Uh, as you said, Illusions now. They're, of course, pretty tanky as well. And Towers coming for Sock. This takes a lot of time to get rid of this one mountain giant. He's not ignoring them at all. Heal spray and heal scroll use, but he's not holding this. Uh, disconnect. Okay, GG by Sock. That push didn't work at all. Mountain giants were the key here, and the user of the wand of the illusions. He had no chance to go for the back line. Couldn't ignore the mountain giants. Uh, couldn't bring the damage to the dryads. And that's how we get map 3 and the equalizer for Lawlight. Very solid uh, play by Lawlight, but yeah, that was definitely a throw by Sock, giving yeah. up his expansion so easily. That was very, very weird. I guess he was really sure that the keeper was up north creeping the natural, but that definitely was not the case. Kind of weird, kind of weird. Um, all right. Brings us to decision map number three. What's that gonna be, I wonder? 
Yeah, we once again don't know the picks and bands. I do think uh, Terranas and Echo are vetoed, though. Just because of the Warden. Twisted must be vetoed as well. Yeah. We see Concealed quite a bit in this matchup. We Echo it is. as well. Ooh, could be Warden time. Not too likely, but doable. I think you're blue. Uh, didn't I change it? Oh, you did. <sighs> Near too fast. I can't even see it. Of course, so quick fingers. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> when you were growing up, did you also have those click tests, like those online click tests? How fast could you click? Yes, mouse of course. <laughs> How good were you at those? <laughs> Dude, I don't remember anything from my childhood. All gone. Everything pushed out of my memory. It was so horrible. Do you, do you still know how many clicks you did 15 I, years ago? I know that I wasn't like, uh, I wasn't the top 30% maybe, but I wasn't like outstanding, you know? Okay. And I took some pride in being a pretty good gamer back then, but that I couldn't do too well. <laughs> did you brag like, about that in like a schoolyard? Dude, my car yeah, like cool kids and there's Remo. My well, car was like 1.6 dates. When we, when we were like 11 years old, we were hanging out in internet cafes together and having like mini LAN parties. I was destroying noobs with USPs only dude, headshots. Only headshots. Man, I was so good. You must have had a very good config back then because that's of course what gets you the headshots. We all know oh that. Oh my god, you remember when you were subscribed to Mouse Sports Premium or whatever? You got the configs from the pro, pro players and then you got to be a pro player yourself. Oh my god. <laughs> I never subscribed to Mouse Sports. I was more I, of an Atex guy. I think nobody did. <laughs> I think there were some people. I mean, we even had an alternate Atex Ultra back in the day. What there was, was premium name? service for alternate? I don't know. No idea. Or do you mean ultras like the fans? Yeah, uh, fans. Uh, what was his name again? Vendetta. The Mio fan as well. Oh, yeah. With oh, his, no, that his... wasn't him. Uh, the the Atex. Ultra was Dead Snake. Don't remember that. Was he the one with Ditznik? Yeah, exactly. And he brought a flag to an IFMG. Uh, like he printed an alternate attacks flag and brought it there. IFNGs honestly were kind of cool, but I think it was too early. Like I think you romanticized that. There were a very few cool IFNGs in Munich, Cologne, and Hamburg. The rest was eh. Except the one in Bremen, where I did the casting. <laughs> I mean the concept though, you know, having ah, like, the concept. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Having weekly esports uh, stops. Issue is that it's just uh, national and national competition is never the greatest. Yep. Now, well, there were international IFNGs, but super expensive. Yeah, but they never took off, right? They had, they had yep. some in Russia and wherever. Warden time, baby. We were hoping for this and we get it. Of course with a mercenary camp creep to get level 2 and hopefully for him uh boots or pendant on the other side mountain king this game ladies and gentlemen is going to be fun thank you lecrest fallen for the 100 bits hail Satan, my little lambs who would have thought that that would be your message for this uh, cheer we thank you a player's force all right pretty cool pretty cool so that certainly will mean fast expo for the mk and I guess also pretty fast expo for the Warden. There's no footy interference here just yet. Coming over now though. Stealing the Shadow Priest would be very nice. The Lion wants to grab that himself. Doesn't have the Moonwell ready yet. Oh, it's pretty close. Moonwell's finishing. He's counting the seconds. And should be able to get it. He will. Yes. But that was in range? You see how far the Warden was away from the Murkham? Oh, boots of speed as well. Oh my god. My lord. Oh. GG. That, it, like, we don't want to call GG too early, but that is kind of GG. Nah, I was just kidding. Like, it's not GG, but it's super good. Yeah. It's so good. You know what else is good? A 20 euro donation by Mr. Friedolf, who was very generous before, but he says, I am entertained. And so he supports us. We thank you so much. Dude, the warden just running down this footy. Doesn't even need mana. You know why? Boots of speed, boys! That's why. People say it's the best item in the game. People are right. It's <laughs> absolutely amazing. MK gets the Ring of attack. Protection, which is like... The worst item on this camp? That's probably the worst item on this camp. 
very unfair here, these auto drops. Yeah, he's going bashed again, so Gloves of Haste would be nice to, like, increase the number of bashes as you increase the number of attacks. What? Gloves of Haste, Liam? Huh? Gloves of Haste? Yes. This is the Merc Camp, bro. No, I mean, for the ring, if you get the Gloves of... Ah, that's the Merc Camp. That is the Merc Camp. <laughs> that is absolutely the Merc Camp. <laughs> That doesn't Close. work, but you know what? Gloves of Haste would be good. Ring can be sold, though, for a staff. Doesn't go for the boots. Oh, is that the game-losing mistake? I wonder. Now the natural is being crept. Yeah, I'm looking for some harass. Once again, the hero abandons the expanse, but at least there's staff now to get back. The warden, though, flirting with the idea of hitting the main instead. Simultaneous creeping. Got her level three. Thanks for that footy kill. Thanks to the boots, True. thanks to the footy kill. Now she's level three, and this is gonna be a great bonanza at the expo. Nice deny on Lolite's side. Um, the Shadow oh, Priest is gone. But no, it, it, <laughs> I wasn't there the with the camera, but that looked quite scary. Or yeah, MK staffed onto a peasant. One or two hits. Ooh, the blink didn't work here. Caught the storm ball, and I guess oh, she has to go away oh. very soon. Oh, quad kill! See you later, nerds. <laughs> Lots of mana, though, invested. For these blinks, but also bought time for the counter expansion. Tier 2 on the way, Ultra Vision upgrade, Tier 1 still for Sock. Oh, and Mr. Maltstrix is watching. Nice, man. Haven't uh, heard from you in a while. I hope things are good. How do you see that? He posted something on Twitter. Oh. Reading Twitter during the cast. In the break. Tree of Life now moving south. There's one MK here to threaten this. But what can he really do? How are all the trees gone, by the way? Do you see where the Ancient of War is? Yeah, I think he ate them all. It was quite a hungry Ancient. Very hungry Ancient. He's gonna be getting fat, dude. No, uh, no Shadow Strike here. So the MK, not in too much danger, I guess. But the Warden's still much faster. And those right clicks do add up over time. Another warning storm bolt. The rest of the army for the human comes in. Army in quotes. It's not the biggest. Two footies, two mercs. But still is gonna successfully be slowing down this tree of life creep. Expo is done and peasants are working now. But yeah, slows it down. That's all he has. I guess Lolite is transitioning to Huntress to be able to deal with this force. Tier 2 is uh, not really finished, so of course an alchemist will be very helpful against this. But for that, instead he has the Huntress now, which is a good defense then, I guess. Found knives. There we go. It's a lot about the mana here. Without mana, these heroes can do nothing. And the Warden has much more mana. As the MK is only with one storm bolt left. Three Huntresses now, should be able attack. to push this back, but it was still a pretty good move by Sock, right? He slowed this down immensely, this creeping of the tree. Enough time for the tech to have already started here for Sock. Lumber Mill coming up, and the economy is rolling. But he's very light on the footman, right? Compared to like TH or Infi, yeah, sure. who would have at this point 10 footmen and tried to kill the Tree of Life. Oh yeah, we saw that just recently, right? Yes. Warden getting closer to level 4 as well. And level 4 is a really good, feels good with level 4, the Warden, if she goes blink. Suddenly that skill, much lower cooldown and only 10 mana. Daytime hitting. It's really important to get the scroll of healing over here. Both players want it. 250 gold. And seems like it's going to be going all its way. Not even prioritizing it too heavily. Dealing with these Huntresses here isn't too easy. There's not much piercing damage at all. But good mana on the MK, at least. He needs another scroll of regen. Can be... Yeah, I don't know. This uh, looks good for Lawlight, I gotta say. So far. He's going into Dryads. And... Oh, Stormbolt again. Must be a blink out, I guess. But good damage okay. on this Mountain King, too. He has no potion in this shop. <laughs> Ooh, but Warden has to get out. Man, they're both playing with fire. Berserkers... Huh? The cooldowns were really important there. How long is the Fan of Dives cooldown? Stormbolt is 8 seconds. I think Fan is longer, right? I'm not too sure, man. I'm not sure either. 
that's why the warden was blinking away instead of looking for that MK kill. Very close on both sides. Also, thank not you very, mana very much, Rev G Kraken, for the 1,000 bits. Excited about the warden. He wanted to stop, but apparently he can't. Makes us very happy. Thank you. Mountain King, like he did, didn't get any experience since yep. level three. Like sure. no progress there at all. But tier two is done for Sock. We have the AM coming. We have the Sanctums coming. We have a workshop coming as well. Nice Wasn't too low on Lumber to go for that. So if Sock wants, he can go for a 70 tier 2 a push. That could be very attack. scary very soon with all the gold he's already banked up. Lolliot saving, uh, selling all of his items except the What? Wow, a thousand gold for Sock already. More moon wells, more dryads, tier 3 on the way. No second hero for Lolliot. That should be a fast level 5 warden with that extra experience you get. Not quite tier 3 yet, but about to be. But of course, on level 4 you have a heavy experience punish uh, from creeps. As you can see, she's just getting a tiny bit from this Ogre Mage Eye. Not getting the invul, I seriously think it's a massive mistake. It's 150 gold, dude. He easily had the inventory space. Perhaps he just forgot about it. I don't know. AM second creeping up here as well, getting closer to his own level two. And Sock is going into upkeep. And suffering from low lumber as is tradition on Echo Eyes. Seriously, can't they just build one peasant more? No, Neo, no. Maybe fucks with the army composition or something. Thank you, Jan underscore, for the 26 month resub. Engine of Wind against the Gyro Scout. And it's Bears again. Kind of weird. He went attack upgrades for Archers and Huns. And now going full Engine of Lore. I thought for a second that he's going Mountain Giants with Archers behind, then the upgrade would make sense. But Archers and Huntress will be rotated out quickly, so. I don't know if that was worth it. Level 5 for the one though. Double heal scroll. Bought them both. Uh, more like a counter buy uh, purchase. Because he doesn't want the human to have them. Yep, Boots exactly. now as well. Scroll of protection for Sock. And an invul potion. But hurt footman. And I guess with the first bears. And master being almost finished. This looks like a scary attack. push for Lawlight. Yeah, Lawlight would love to obviously win this game but not necessarily uh like push down the expansion but just go for a bit of trading come on fight me bro because then experience will be going both ways and the warden this is like some old school or liar play man this yeah. is expo level five warden warden solo and now just get up more experience bit by bit i'm bit half expecting him to go into the main. <laughs> thank you martial spirit for the six month resub and mouse 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 for the 27 month resub and here we go Warden harassment into the peasant! Oh, Jesus Christ. That hurts. She Five. just killed like eight peasants or something. Yep. And that's going to be number nine. Oh, staffing out. That was a lot of resources and a lot of experience. Mountain King is still not okay, but absolutely worth it. Yeah. We do have Blizzard, of course, on the Archmage's side, and he's trying to tower this up again with 70 supply. And Master for the Bears is done. But where's the front line? He's got four footies only. One scroll of healing, okay. And an MK without clap. Doesn't he really, really need clap for this? Hmm. This is a scary night of army, dude. Yep. And I was again. Blink, fan of lives in the back. Wants to get rid of all the casters in the front. Wisps are connecting. This was nice, getting rid of the scroll of protection and mana. But now the Blizzard kicks in. Roar to counter that damage wise. Heal scroll on Sock side used early. Warden still has mana for the next fan of knives. And it's cooling down. Gonna be ready in a moment. MK. Only one Stormbolt left. Ooh. Oh my god, that Blinkin. And that's level six. This is looking like the double G's already as Lolite gets more kills on the way out before the TP is coming in. Oh, Sock left with 59 supply. Okay, I guess. Lolite isn't really far ahead in supply, but now he's level six. And level 6 Warden can almost solo a tier 2 human army. That is correct. We don't know 
Well, he hasn't decided yet on Avatar or Blink. If ah, it's Avatar. Patch, perhaps he would go for Blink, but on the new one, I don't think so. So, Avatar it is. There's quite some corpses here. The last hope for the Human Alliance is struggling. <coughs> After eliminating TH in the group stages, this seems to be a little too much. He's trying it again. Banging his head against Law Lion's expansion with two, three more teams now. Thank you, Ixod, for the eight month resub. But here we have a fight at the Merchant. Open battleground, and feel free for the one to blink in wherever you want to. Heal scroll super early again. He's waiting for the Stormbolt to fly. Ooh. Nice pump fake. Triggers the anti magic, but. Storming forward. He's trying to kite, but the AoE is indeed too much. We have a mana potion on the warden. Healed scroll and invul. Got the shop control. Another triple kill. And this means corpses for the avatar. Undefeatable little spirits. But Lolayan is backing up. Doesn't want uh, to push this at the moment. Tier 3 is coming, but only starting now. I haven't seen this in quite a while. The Bane of Humans back in 2015. Look at the Spirit of Vengeance. He's like right there and he's not even cancelling the healing. I think Loliot is like, you know, messing with his head right now. I could cancel your healing, but I'm not gonna. I'm giving you a little chance. Yeah, Sok is, uh, well, in a very tough spot, obviously. Looking... Kind of checkmate. To have an opportunity to get out of this chokehold, he's going tier 3. Okay, we're gonna have higher HP tar uh, units soon, hopefully. We're gonna have a Paladin for healing. So the Warden can't just be the one man, one woman show to easily attack. anymore, but... 50 supply only. I think Lolai could even just run down this expansion, just bust it. Hey, click, go, go. Lolai is at the Merchant. I'm hoping for him to buy the big mana. With that backpack upgrade he has. He has a lot of information, of course, about what's going on. Sock is just turtling at this point. So did the dry get something? Nope. But shop control, man. Full shop control. Six bears. Seven bears. Guarding a player's forces are under attack. the merchant. And whoops, here we go again. I don't care about this arcane tower when I'm invulnerable. Classic Warden plays right here. Finding more peasants. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ouch. Level seven. Ouch. Ouch. Close. So close to seven. And again, low lumber. How does he want to get frag shards? Master training. Oh, boy. Yep. Yeah. Level seven. The light thing is smart. He is the master of the Warden after all. He always no, knows when he can attack where. That's just a six uh, sense he has, somehow. So blink level three now. Makes it even easier to play that style. Four second cooldown. I think it was Lola, it was really upset when it went uh, from one second to four seconds, <laughs> yes, right? Yes, of course. <laughs> Guys, remember how busted that was? One second blink. <laughs> that was so insane. So usually the problem for the Night Elf is to uh, kill the mortal teams because the mortal teams are bringing in the damage. Now you can just skip the front line, blink into the back, fan off knives against them. No frag shards yet. Blizzard is coming in, but Lolai knows of course what's going on and no frag shards as the workshop falls. Of course, Sok wants to stay in this. But this looks bad for him. Fan of knives again. The light is losing a little bit, but the Archmage is so out of position. Ouch. Raw being used now. Squeezes through this little choke, but kills the Archmage anyway. And the Fairy Dragons are bringing in more AoE. Sock on the verge of being eliminated. Scratch that. Sock eliminated. All humans out of H and W Masters. The H in this tournament name is not standing for human. That's for sure. And Lolliot ad advancing to the last round of the round of eight. He will now play the decisive match, the rematch of the group stage against life. Should have listened to you, I guess. Should have vetoed Echo Isles. That was once again uh, 
yeah, a killer warden show. And all right, I like that. Going with his typical style, you know, uh, one round further. But in the next matchup in the Night of Mirror, there you cannot play the warden. Are well, we be seeing? technically you can. <laughs> Could this, like, back in the Demon Hunter days, of course, would have been a horrible, horrible, horrible idea. Yep. I guess Against it's still a horrible, keeper. horrible, horrible idea because it's wisps. But, Neo, but <laughs> nowadays it's all about archers. What really? if you have a level five warden <gasps> against all those archers? <gasps> How do you get to level, level five, five warden? And boom. How do you get to level five? What? How do you get to level five? Yeah, well, you know, uh, to, uh, kill the treants. Yeah. Creep, yeah. you know? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Kill some stuff. <laughs> mm, yes. <laughs> that uh, seems to be very well thought out um, by Mr. Remo, the uh, eloquent young gentleman right next to me. That was game number one out of two. Of course, we go into Lolite versus live. If you like what we're doing, then hit the buttons. You do have some time now as we go into a little break. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, we have those socials. You can join our Discord as well. Uh, if you uh, have craving for more Warcraft, check out our YouTube. What, uh, there we have like 5,000 videos or so over there. You can help us out financially, as many, many people did today with subs. Here is a button, or with donations, or with uh, buying our merch that Remo is wearing right now. Yep. Or use the Amazon referral links if you want to buy anything over there. So with that being said, enjoy that little break, and we'll be back with a decision of the H&W Masters Round 8. Who's going to join Infi, not Infi, Moon120 and Lin in the top four of this $44,500 tournament. Stay tuned. 